So these three examples here are typically when people are going to confuse simple squamous for adipose. So this is simple squamous as seen in the lung and people see empty space and they confuse it with this. They confuse it with adipose. However, what you want to pay attention to and what you want to think about is the fact that these examples of simple squamous, you have multiple squashed squamous pancake cells that are kind of holding hands to make a circle. And in adipose, what you're seeing is this bubble is one single adipose cell that has been filled with fat, so it's all stretched out. So in adipose, the individual circles is one cell. That's why you're only seeing a few nuclei here and there, and whereas up here, because it's many cells, you're seeing many nuclei, and also because it's epithelium, it has to be attached to some sort of basement membrane. So some of that basement membrane is also visible when you're looking at these examples. So now that you have that in mind, this should be easily identifiable as simple squamous. And this should be easily identifiable as adipose. Now, while we're here, I'll point out, if you look at this lining here, this is also a bunch of pancake cells that are lining a blood vessel so this is also simple squamous. And you can see it really looks nothing like adipose. So the only time I would expect you to confuse simple squamous with adipose would be like that example you saw in the lung. This is also lined with simple squamous as seen in the kidney.